This is a custom application I just built out for one of my clients, and they're a fire inspection company. They paid me $15,000 plus a monthly management fee to build out this entire thing for them. Now, I did zero coding whatsoever. I am not a developer. I am not technical. I use AI, more specifically Claude Code, to build out the entire thing. Now, there are a plethora of businesses out there willing to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for custom solutions just like this. The problem is, is most people have no idea how to find these businesses and most people have no idea how to make money with cloud code or these vibe coding tools so in this video i'm going to show you exactly how to find these clients that are willing to pay a lot of money for custom softwares how to sell them how to scale and how to make 10k a month with the cloud code if i had to start over from zero so how do you actually go from zero complete beginner to 10k a month with cloud code and building out AI softwares for businesses. Well, this video was really inspired because I saw this post the other day on the Cloud Code Reddit, and you can tell what it what the post is about by its title. But I wasted months building stuff nobody wanted, and a lot of people are stuck in the same boat and have a similar issue. So, step number one and the most important step to avoid wasting months building things that nobody wants is to simply find a problem. Because after all, that's what these business owners are paying you for. They don't care about software. They care about getting their problem solved. And software is the best way to do that in most cases. And so you're starting with industries you know. Industries you deeply understand. You speak their language. Maybe you've worked at a company uh, in a similar industry. Maybe your family owns a business in this industry, but ideally you're starting with an industry where you deeply understand their problems. Now, number two, you are doing research on these industries to find the exact problems that they talk about. And so Reddit is a great tool for this because there is literally a Reddit for everything. There's a Reddit for entrepreneurs, chiropractors, dentists, business owners, gym owners. And once you're on these Reddits, you are searching for keywords like issue or problem or struggling, right? And all of the posts with these keywords will pop up. You can even search for stuff like software. And maybe a business owner is asking, hey, does anybody have a good software to solve this? Or even automate. And this will give you, this is literal gold. Because once you find a post, let's say you find a Reddit post for gym owners and they're asking about a specific prop, uh, software because they're struggling with something. And all of the comments underneath it are like, oh no, there's no real great solution right now. I've had to do this all manually. Well, you know you struck literally a gold mine because you can build a software for them that solves this exact thing. And that's why Claude Code is such a massive opportunity right now is because anybody can build a niche software when before it wasn't possible or maybe not feasible. So another great platform Facebook groups is another good platform. I prefer Reddit a little bit better or industry specific. So industry, industry specific forums. So I'm willing to bet that there's a forum out there for pretty much anything. So if you just Google chiropractor forums or business owner forums, you'll find some forums as well. And again, you're searching for these same keywords to find the exact problem to build a offer for. Now you are looking for specific problems that they have to do manually. Let's say they're doing a lot of manual work. Um, let's say they're trying to solve one problem by using 10 different apps that are all just kind of duct taped together, or they have to hire somebody for it. And so there are a multitude of these issues of business owners spending hours on filling out things manually, on slapping together multiple different apps and things kind of being clunky, clunky and not working uh, exactly right, or having to hire somebody, having to train them, having to pay them a salary, having to give them benefits, spending at least fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year on one employee when a software solution for fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars could do a better job and for a lot cheaper. Now a little cheat code is you could have Claude do deep research. Now, I recommend doing this manually alongside Claude because you're going to have a better understanding, honestly, if you're digging through and you're reading these posts yourself. But also, you can put in like, hey, this is my, um, this is the niche I want to go after. Let's say you want to go after chiropractors. Find me a list of their 10 most painful problems 
and uh, rank them by most painful to least painful and tell me, give me software ideas with each problem of a solution that I could build out for them to solve this. So you could have Claude do deep research for you as well and give you a report and tell it to scrape Reddit, um, you know, niche specific forums, Facebook, whatever data source it can to find what your industry struggles with and talks about. And so this is a really great uh, tool, a really great kind of bonus to do on top of this. I do recommend doing this manually first because if you do this manually, you're just going to be more invested and have a better understanding of your industry and the problems. Now, step number two is validate. And we are going to sell before build. Now, some people be, might be going, what the heck? How are we going to sell something when we don't have any sort of offer or any product? Well, that's the problem is that that's why most people waste months building stuff that nobody wants because we have a pretty good guess, right? We have a pretty good guess of what our industry wants because we did research, but we never know for sure until we have cold, hard dollars in our bank account and somebody actually paid us to build this out for them. And so that's why we sell before we build so we don't waste time building things that nobody wants. Now, we need to validate our offer. And to do that, we are going to, guess what? We are going to reach out to the same people that said that they're struggling with this issue. So via Facebook, via LinkedIn, via cold email, the, the same gym owner that said, I have an issue automating this and there's no great software. Well, guess what? You craft an email or a message that says, I actually built out a software just for gym owners that solves this problem. And you're, gonna, you're trying to see if they resonate, if they respond, if they're interested in what you have to say. And if not, then you go back to the drawing board and find a different painful problem. But we're also trying to find, are they willing to even pay $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, to, uh, to solve this painful issue. And so we're not only trying to validate our solution, we're trying to validate if it's a solution worth our time and worth providing. Now, another reason why I believe an AI software business is such an amazing business to be in if you wanna scale fast is because you have an amazing offer. And that's really what it comes down to most of the time is do you have something that people want? Now, for the call, the beauty of selling before we build and validate our, validating our offer is that you are going to diagnose their issue. So you are just going to ask them their problem. You're going to ask questions like, how much time are you spending on this, uh, doing this manually? How much money is this costing you? What would that look like if you had this problem solved? How many more clients could you get? How much more could you grow their business? And they are just going to dump all of their problems, okay? And what you're going to do is for your solution, after you're done asking your questions, you're not hard pitching them, you're just diagnosing them like a doctor. When it comes time to your solution, it is specific to the exact issue that they told you. It is specific to the exact problems because you the, the sky is the limit with Claude Code and these AI coding tools. Now, you need to actually get cold, real, hard dollars over the phone. So somebody actually needs to pay you $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, whatever it is. Maybe it's a monthly fee before you actually build this so you don't waste your time building something. So you get on the call, you, 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 know, you listen to their problems, you pitch a solution, and they're willing to pay for it. You know you have something good here. But what if you say, you know, you might be wondering, well, what if they ask me for a portfolio? And what if I've never built anything before? And what if they want to see a demo? Well, again, the beauty with Claude Code is you can whip up a quick demo in just a couple of hours. And so if it's a, a CRM for gyms to manage all their personal trainers and their personal training clients, well, you can literally build that a demo at least um, in Claude Code in just a couple of hours, screen record that, send them out that in an email and show them how you'll make their life easier because again all they need to believe is that you can actually solve their problem that's what they care about and that's why they're willing to pay you this much money because you're solving an issue that's painful in their business and that's the beauty of cloud code is you can practically build out anything now now my mega bonus tip for step two is you want to take on clients that are easy wins, okay? You don't want a lot of complexity. Now, what I mean by that is you're building out relatively simple software solutions that solve a very specific problem and that's linear for the most part. So that's probably taking something from A to B, okay? Now, some examples of this, again, are manual data entry, companies spending a lot of time uh, entering stuff manually, 
replacing an employee when a software could do the job or replacing 10 different applications when one cloud code built software could do the job. You're gonna have a better time and you're gonna be able to scale up faster and it's gonna be less headaches overall. Compared to, you don't want something that's like super complex and this has to go over there. And then this you know, has to do that and do this and do this. You, you just don't want this. You're gonna have a rough time. It's gonna be more headaches. You're not gonna be able to scale up as, uh, as fast because it's gonna take much more of your time. So moving on to, so real quick, I actually put together an in-depth guide that will show you this entire process step by step and how to scale your cloud code business to $10,000 a month. So there is everything in here from how to find problems, super detailed and in-depth to a list of ideas that you can just start with right away worth at least $10,000, um, how to validate your offer before building, a sales call masterclass that will give you an exact script and questions to ask, and then how to make building with Claude Code super easy. So if you want this entire guide, it's for free down in the description below. All you have to do is click the link and I'll send it to you. Step number three, build. Okay, oh, buoyed, <laughs> build. So by this point, we have validated our idea. We have found a, a niche that we understand that has an issue that is willing to pay a lot of money to solve this problem. We have actually validated our idea by getting on the phone, by actually talking to these people, by diagnosing their problem. And now they have paid us a lot of money to actually build this out. So we know that this is something real and that they're willing to pay for. So we're going to build this out with Claude Code. Okay, now a hack to make this incredibly easy, okay, is on that call, you are going to do an onboarding call. After you close them, you're gonna do your first onboarding call. And now you're going to have a list of questions that you're going to ask them. And I'll, I'll provide a free guide down in the description below with all these questions to make onboarding super easy in this entire process. But you have a list of questions that you ask them. Things that like, what is your workflow look like right now, step by step? What are you spending the most time on? What are your bottlenecks? In a perfect world, what would this um, solution look like? And you are, going to re you are going to have this call on Google Meet because... Google Meet, you can get free transcriptions with uh, Gemini. So you can turn on a meeting recording. You can have G Gemini transcribe the entire meeting and generate you an AI summary. And so the amazing part is that the client is practically prompting for you. And this makes it incredibly easy to start to build their app. This onboarding call is crucial. And so you're going to collect all this information and you're going to put it into Claude, okay, just a Claude desktop app. And you're going to say, build me a plan, plan out this entire application based on the client's transcription and the, on the transcription of this meeting, build an MD file, a Claude MD file. So Claude can actually file this or uh, follow this step by step when we actually start building and prompts. So you have all of that gold from the client call. This is crucial. You have all this gold from the client call. You have your transcription, you have your AI summary, and you took some manual notes as well. And you're putting this all into Claude. You're giving it all this data, all this context, all this specificity, and you are having Claude build you out the full build plan, the MD file, and the prompts. So this makes it pretty dang easy to get this done in just a few days. It honestly did not take me long to build out that fire inspection application. So by the end of this, you should have a full working app, okay? That did not take you too long to build out, probably just a couple of days that you really didn't do any prompting for that Claude did all for you because now it's just a matter of telling Claude to follow the plan and the client is happy and has paid you money by this point. So we have gone from zero to finding a problem, to validating the solution, to building this out in Claude code. And now the final step is scale. Now you have something valuable here. You know that this is validated. You know that this is a real problem. And so now you can sell this, you can sell this solution infinitely. Okay, you can either sell it exactly how it is now because maybe other businesses in that exact niche have that same exact problem. 
um, that's not being solved right now, or you can do, you can tailor it, okay, to them. Now, what I mean by this is when you go to get a suit at a nice place, the suit is already done. They just tailor it to you to your um, exact measurements, right? They trim it to your exact measurements. And so the reason why I use this analogy is because the base of this application is already done. You already have a base CRM for gym owners or for, for chiropractors. And now you can sell that base plus some customizations specific to their workflow. Or you can even find other companies that you just have to rebrand it for them. So for example, my fire inspection application, okay? Now, I can go to other inspection companies that have pretty similar workflows and just adjust it based on their niche. So I can go to health inspection. I could go to what, property inspection. I could go to maybe like equipment or like uh, factory inspections. Whatever it is, I have a base inspection CRM that I've built out and now I just need to make slight modifications based on the client. Now here is where the math gets pretty simple for scaling your business. So let's say that gym client paid you 10k up front to build it plus $2,500 a month just to manage it, just to improve it, just to make sure that everything is running well because you're, you might be wondering, well, why are they paying me this much? Well, because you're saving them even if you're saving them just 5K a month, 10K a month, then this is obviously a good investment on their part as a business owner. If you're freeing up their time, if you're making them more money, if you're allowing it there, if you're making it easier on them to get more clients and get more paying customers, then obviously this cost is worth it. Now, if you just get four more gyms at $2,500 a month, well, the math is pretty simple. You are now at 10K a month. And you have provided custom software for these gyms that makes their life easier, that allows them to make more money, that is providing massive value to them, that solved an exact pain point. And this is why I believe this is the best business to start in AI because there's a very high value for software because you can literally build out anything with Claude Code. And because we're so new to this, building out a custom software to a business is such a unique and valuable offer. So I hope you got value out of this. Like I said, this entire guide to go from zero to 10K a month uh, is entirely free in the description down below. It will give you the questions for the onboarding call. It will give you hacks to find problems, to diagnose issues. It will give you a little uh, script for the sales call and then some cheat codes to build out your applications with Claude Code. But this is the exact plan I'm using right now in my AI software studio. So I hope you got value out of this video. Thanks so much for joining me. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing down below for plenty more AI coding and Claude Code content, and I'll see you in the next one.